Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Myself, I'm doing fine over here, apart from some cold that I have, and that's the reason for the hoarse voice. Pardon me for that. Also, I'm at home, so you might hear some noises in the background. But all in all, let's do this. Before you is the interview experience from Accra Embassy, that is Ghana. As we all know, Accra Embassy is not doing well, it's not doing as required, but all in all, we have the interview here. And this is the interview experience by a lady that is married and has children. So let's see what happened as we read along. We went through the security checks, made to wait under a shed for about an hour. I was called to go and pay for our interview fees. Afterwards, I went to one of the counters and there the lady took all the documents you mentioned with the exception of the affidavit of support and the transcript. I was asked to add a photo album. I was shocked because something told me to carry it along and lo and behold, it was requested. Passports and birth certificates were the only documents requested for my derivatives. We presented them on the D-Day. We waited for about four hours before my name was mentioned. We were the last people to be interviewed. I went with my family and I was greeted by a fine white lady. She asked me to swear, of which I did. The interview. Can you please mention your name? State your date of birth, please. Which year did you complete college? I missed that answer. Then she corrected me. Tell me when you got married. She asked a few questions concerning my profession. Then she told me she was satisfied. She then mentioned my husband's name. He also swore. She asked him if he has used any other name and date of birth apart from the one in the passport. As for my kids, they were asked of their names and dates of birth. Surprisingly, one of my kids has the same birth date as the consular officer. She was so excited about that and that birth date was 30th March 2009. The little one only answered the question, how are you? Then she said she was satisfied with all our submissions. Congratulations, your visa has been approved. Enjoy your stay at the United States. 
We thanked her and said goodbye after we were given a white paper to direct us on how to get our passports. We were the only people at the Accra Embassy. So that is it about the interview. But let's get some few things from this recap. You can see that the lady was requested of the documents with the exception of the affidavit of support and the transcript. And this is because the lady that took the documents is not the interviewing officer. It is the consular officer that requests for the proof of not becoming a public charge once you land in the United States. They normally want to ensure that you can support yourself as you take root in the United States. And that's why they request for the transcripts, that is the financial transcripts or the affidavit of support. We also see that she was indeed requested of an additional item that is normally not asked for. And these are the photos. And I know you are wondering why was she requested of the photo, yet it's not even listed in the requirements. So, if you got married after you have applied for the DV lottery or after you have won the DV lottery, then you need to arm yourself properly with supporting documents. Documents that prove that you had relationship, you are engaged even before you applied. And some of those may include photos that you took together and any other thing that can solidly support that that relationship was not fraudulent. That is to mean that you did not decide to marry so as to give this other person the opportunity. So you will need to present the proof. And that would be the reason as to why this lady was requested of the album. So I always tell you that since DV lottery is a chance, and sometimes I call it a chance of a lifetime, because you only get one selectee in 200 people. So it is a chance, once you get it, you make use of it and relocate to the US. Therefore, you have to prepare yourself properly. I always say it is better to be over prepared than lack something that will cost you the visa. For example, if you are requested for the proof of relationship prior to the application and you cannot prove, how will they tell that this relationship is not fraudulent? Therefore, at all time, because it's a chance of a lifetime and you've gotten, prepare yourself with all the relevant documents that you think may be relevant. For this lady, she decided to carry the photo album even if it's not requested. And there you go. She got her visa together with the, the visas of the derivatives approved simply because she decided to carry this. What if she had not carried? Therefore, guys, always prepare. It's just a one-time chance. For most of the people. Thank you guys for watching this video. I come to the conclusion. But if you have not. Consider subscribing. And like the video. Support the channel. And let's meet in the next videos.